Yo, 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 we gotta wait for Call of the Wild to pop up. Hello, Call of the Wild. There we go. There it is. <laughs> oh, how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing good today. Thank you all for stopping by. What's going on, everybody? What's up, Matthew, Karen, CG, Rybot, Mullet, we got Pirate, we got Lukey, Kerosene, Michaela, Aiden, Call the Wild Grinder, Outbound, Fisher, we got Mr. Monkey, we got Arium guys, we got Hunter Bros, we got Xander, Schrader. What's going on, everybody? Sorry, I can't name off everybody. There's a lot of you in here right now. But uh, yeah, I think it's time. I think it's time we click new game. There we go. We've done it. New game on my on my second account. I forgot to mention that little detail. This is my second account. But uh, I thought it'd be fun to kind of end the... What's it called? Great one before level 60 season 3. I wanted to try and get multiple great ones before uh, ending that series. But I got to thinking with the new update very, very close. Why not just start a brand new game on my second account and... Just go through the whole process, not do any type of like a challenge or anything, and just have fun with it. Just kind of get a feel for what it's like to start over again. Because it's been a while since we just did a casual brand new playthrough. So I figured, let's just do that. I think it could be a lot of fun. It'll be kind of like a chill thing to do while we wait for the brand new update. And as you guys know, I've said this in a post on my channel, but I already have access to the new DLC. So currently my main account is using like the deal or the uh, the new update, right? So I can't stream that until the 8th. So I've got five days before I can stream on my main account again. So I figured in the meantime, we got to do something fun to get us by until early access footage can get posted, you know? And I got some pretty crazy stuff planned for early access. So you guys are going to want to stay tuned for that as well. But let's get into it. A brand new playthrough. Let's see if we can get some good trophies within the uh, the time that we're going to be on here. And this will probably be a playthrough that we visit after the update as well. Like, I'm not going to end the playthrough whenever the new update hits. We'll, we'll take a break from it whenever we get the new update. That way I can focus on getting, like, the main content out. And then we will probably return to this account to play at least until we hit level 60 I think I feel like we got to go till we get to level 60 at least what do I even have for my weapons and stuff uh we're gonna need to swap that around and then I guess 243 can go right here for now I guess it can go right there for now no I'm not on twitch at the moment um I wasn't really feeling up to watching two chats today What's the update about? The update's going to have a lot of stuff. It's going to be a brand new weapon pack along with a ton of quality of life changes and things like that. Obviously, I can't give any specific details until they talk about everything. Nice, our first kill. We got a foxy. That's awesome. That'll be decent money. Blue, thank you for the five months. I grinded bears for 16 hours last night and had no luck besides three diamonds. Oh no, Blue. That's unfortunate, man. That's unfortunate. Hey, you can't win them all, though. Sometimes the cards just don't, uh... What's, what's the saying? Cards just don't don't always play into your hand? No, that's, that's not the saying. It might be the saying, but it's probably not. Nice, silver boat. Boom. Riding red here on Tiaboroa. Let's go, Brighton. Asia would be a really good map, for sure. I hope that's what we get. I really hope that's what we get. Alright, so we got Outpost there. I wanted to start on this map because there's a couple species that give a lot of money. And we're going to need a lot of money early on. So, Crocodiles and Roosadier are going to be a couple of my targets for getting a lot of money. So, that's why I decided to go with this map in particular. Does running cost anything? Yes, it's 99 cents a month to be a member. Do you want to know the luckiest thing that happened to me? I had back-to-back -back diamonds in under five minutes. Let's go, dude. That's awesome. That is quite lucky. You're right. Very lucky. Yo, what's up, Jenna? How's it going? Taking a break from grinding till the update? Probably a good thing to do, Coopler. You know, give yourself a little bit of a break. 
Finds another initial spawn super rare. Could you imagine, bro? Could you freaking imagine? I probably will do a lot of multiplayer in this uh, series as well. So there it is. Our first kill, man. That's our first kill of this account. Uh, don't show again. There we go. Oh. Oh, that is totally one that we can smoke. I don't know if that's going to be good, though. What do you guys think? Was that vitals? I'm going to say no. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Yeah, it's definitely not dead. That's it right there. Whoa! We're super unsteady. Super unsteady. Haven't played in a while. What's the new update? Uh, there's going to be a new weapon pack as well as a bunch of quality of life changes. So it should be pretty good. Um, You know, I think I can actually tell you guys what one of my videos is going to be. Because it doesn't give away anything with the update. It's just kind of like a, a video idea, right? The video that I'm going to release on the first day of early access footage being able to be shown is going to be something pretty crazy. I'm going to spend a total of 24 hours using the new 300 to let you guys know if it's as good as we think it is. I can't say any more than that, but that is what the video premise is going to be. I'm going to spend a total of 24 hours. I'm going to make sure that it's exactly 24 hours or more. Because at that point, I feel like I'd be able to give a pretty good opinion on how good it is, right? So I think that's going to be my main video. And of course, I'm going to grind for Great One Species while I do it in hopes of maybe getting a Great One in that 24 hours of using it as well. We'll see. We'll see if I can pull that off. Nice, Hunter. Nice. How much money have I ever spent on a game that I no longer play and do I regret it? Um, man, I don't know the exact number, but I spent a lot of money on CSGO back in the day. And at the time, I was like, you know, 16, 17 years old. So I, I wasn't exactly the smartest with my money. Nowadays, I'm a lot smarter with money. But back then, you know, I was, I was still a kid. I didn't know how to, like, manage all that stuff. And uh, I spent a lot of money on Counter-Strike. Opening cases, doing trade-ups, you know, buying all the weapon skins, you know, all the, all the expensive weapon skins and stuff. And I do kind of regret it, but at the same time, I don't because it kind of like... It kind of helped me get better with money as I got older. So I don't necessarily regret it because uh, it gave me something to look back on and be like, Okay, don't waste your money on silly stuff anymore, Crow. And nowadays, I'm a lot smarter with my money, so I think in the end, it all worked out. So I, I, I'd say I probably don't regret it. Do I wish I hadn't spent as much as I did? Yeah, definitely. But uh, do I regret it because of the fact that it gave me some good life lessons? No, I don't think I regret it. Why don't I play Way of the Hunter instead of Call of the Wild? Is it bad? I play them both. I, I've played them both on the channel. I've played Way of the Hunter recently. They're just very different from each other. They're, neither is bad. Is the new 300 good for Moose? I won't be able to answer any questions as to whether it's good for stuff until I'm allowed to show the footage. That deer game is great. Oh my gosh, yes, it's hilarious. You would not believe how much fun I had doing that, uh, that video. Holy crap, it's insane. Who would have thought that just like a a super basic janky game on Steam could be so fun? But yeah, Hoophobia is an in insanely good game. And they've updated it twice since I recorded that video, like tweaking different things in the game mode. So the devs are actively updating it, which is nice. Yo, what's up, airplane dude? How you doing? Will the new pack be free? No, it's not going to be free. It's going to be... I'm assuming probably three bucks like normal, or are they normally four? Probably three or four dollars would be my prediction. 
What time is it? Um, 7.53. Okay. We'll leave the time as is. What rifle should we go for first? Because we can get our DLC ones. Like the 308. There we go. There's the 308. And then I think probably going to get a little bit of 308 poly tips. Actually, no, the 338 is going to be better probably. Because we're going to have to deal with the crocodiles. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with the crocs. So I'd rather have that right there. Let's get a little bit of 338 ammo. Oh, almost all my money. Worth it, though. That's going to that's gonna be great for getting us more money. <laughs> 338 with, uh, <laughs> with the starter scope. Fun. <laughs> this is going to be great. This is, this is going to be great. I think we're going to drive around on the ATV a little bit. Try to get some of these areas unlocked. Socks and Crocs. Definitely. Socks and Crocs. We, uh, we styling like Brobro -bro over here. Hey, Debo, how's it going? What is the best gun? Ah, uh, you're gonna get a different answer from everybody you ask that question to. Because everybody's got their own opinions on what is the best of the best. And I kind of think that it depends on the category, right? Oh, gosh, what the? Uh, everything's fine here. Everything's fine. You see nothing. Literally. <laughs> you literally see nothing. Oh, my gosh. Uh, but as I was saying, I, I feel like it's per category type of thing. Best 48 class rifle is definitely the 308 AR. Best uh, 7 to 9 is the 300 bolt action. We'll see how that changes when the new update drops, though. And then best small game rifle, probably the 243. It's not changing either. Like, every time I go in and out, it's still like that. It's... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This is cursed. This is mega cursed, man. That is super cursed. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm doing good, Chip. I'm doing quite good. Hopefully you're doing good as well, man. That looks normal. Yes, 100% normal, bro. 100% normal. Got some animals running off in the distance. As the, uh, the torso-less man. Torso and headless man. Actually, I'm just arms. I'm literally just arms. That is hilarious. Uh, it's literally just two arms. <laughs> I can't even, man. This is crazy. We need squirrels next? Yeah, we do. Squirrels would be amazing. Squirrels would be so good. Dr. Seuss vibes, something like that. Hey, Remy, how's it going? I'm doing good, Weston. I don't know, Crow, who is Crow? What's up, Stadler? When's the next update? It'll be the 12th, I believe, right? I think it's the 12th of this month. I'm 25, Colton. Can't wait to see what species got changed. Still praying for a class 7 red deer. Me too, man. Me too. Hopefully. Yo, what's up, Ender? It is the 12th? Okay. I thought so. For real, what DLC is this? I know, right? The uh, arms only DLC? Exclusive uh, content creator DLC. You get no no body, no head, no legs, just your arms. I'm assuming the same as always, Ian. They haven't announced it, though. So it's hard to say. 
Invisible camo DLC, yes. Exactly. This is the Stealthy Man DLC. Ah! What is going on with my game? I, I completely broke it. <laughs> what happened? Oh my gosh. What did I do? What did I do to break it? <laughs> oh lord. This is incredible. <laughs> okay. I don't think I've ever seen this bug before. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to restart my game. Maybe that'll fix it. That is wild. That is like 10 million different kinds of borked, man. That's crazy. That's a big thumb for real. For real. Oh, I clipped it, uh, Wallen. I clipped it. I'll, I'll be sending that. I'll be sending that in for sure. That's wild. Need a hand? I, I would say so, Chip. I, I don't think my hunter understands how to exist. Literally, I mean, most of his body disappeared. The no sent no see DLC. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Is it normal? Yes, we're normal. Okay. Just need a quick little restart, and now we're good. That, uh... I forgot. This isn't like Way of the Hunter. It, it resets you back to the nearest tent or... Oh, man. Now we got to make that trek again. It's okay, though. It's okay. We'll do it. And no biggie. No biggie, man. I wonder, is it the ATV that ruins it? Let's see. Okay, we can see my character this time. I think we're good. That was the weirdest bug ever, bro. That bug was insane. Let's just go down to the outpost so that we get another outpost unlocked. Larry, thank you for the 20 months, man. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. What key is third person? It's C on PC. We need a minigun DLC. Oh, Lord. The goat you messed up cursed you? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Pickle Smeller is a wild name. <laughs> Can't wait for the early access vids. I know, man. I'm so excited for them. I'm super excited for them. What animal do I want to be a great one next? Uh, definitely elk. I think elk would be a fantastic fit for a great one. Control alt delete for third person. Oh, definitely. Definitely. No, it's actually alt F4. That's, that's how you get to it. Actually, you delete system 32, and that uh, that that gives you a uh, guaranteed great one spawn. Can you tell us what the map is? Uh, we don't know what the next map is. They have not talked about it at all. It's still pretty early, most likely. I would imagine we're not going to get a map till June. At least that's kind of what it's looking like. So I would imagine that we probably won't get any info for a little bit. Where do I want the map to be? Um, either Texas Game Ranch, Asia, Africa 2, like any of those would be really good. How many fellow great ones do I have? I think we have 11 of them, right? We have 11 or 12. What's up, JC? How's it going? How's it going, JC? Um, technically, yes, Ghosted, because I live in Oregon, so Leighton Lakes is basically Oregon, and I have been to Washington, which is what Leighton is based on. Okay, uh, calm down, ATV. Stop spinning out. They really need to give the ATV more traction. We need, we need an update that gives the ATV better traction, man. That's something that we desperately need. What's up, TSM? It's 
started playing Call of the Wild a few months ago, and in the beginning, I was really struggling getting animals and getting the rank system. But your vids and gameplay really helped me over that. That's awesome to hear, man. I'm glad that they could help you out. How many Fabled Mocha do I have? I have one. Just one. Because, you know, of course, whatever is Scarecrow's favorite fur type, I'm going to get the least. So, <laughs> it makes sense. They need to add snowmobiles. Ooh, that could be kind of cool. And there's really only, like, one map that that's useful on, right? Which is Medved, so I don't know if they ever will. I mean, maybe if we get more snow maps, it would make sense, but we only have one right now. I mean, technically, I guess Revon Tuli has snow in the super high hills, but that's not enough to make it, like, worth adding. So I, I don't think we'd get snowmobiles. At least not with the uh, current map pool that we have. All Mocha? Man, I wish I had your luck, Mayday. Because I just can't get very many Mochas for some reason. I only have one. Antarctica? That could be interesting, for sure. How many drink zones for Whitetail on Leighton Lakes? Between 60 and 75, depending on the person. Usually anywhere from 60 to 75, though. Oh, Yukon does have snow, but yeah, it's it's very temporary, right? Like, it only comes up every once in a while. I just don't think people would buy a snowmobile DLC for only... If it was only useful on two maps, you know? Like, I think for a lot of people, it would have to be a pretty cheap DLC for it to be worth it. What if they added snakes? That would be really cool. Especially if they did it to, like, Australia. Or if they added them on Silver Ridge, like in the Rocky Mountains. You could have, like, rattlesnakes. That'd be kind of cool. And that then they could implement a new system where, like, if you get bit by a rattlesnake, you have to get some anti-venom. That'd be kind of cool. People say an Amazon map. How fun would it be to hunt in a warehouse? <laughs> oh, man. That would be that would be interesting. That 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 just sounds like uh, a, another game of hoophobia, dude. Gosh, I need to bring that game to the live streams. How would you guys like a hoophobia stream on my second channel? I don't necessarily want to stream the game on the main channel because I know that a lot of you don't want to hear like uh, a lot of cursing and stuff. As I know, I do have quite a. Uh, Quite a large amount of younger viewers. But uh, I would definitely do a Hophobia stream on the second channel. What's Hophobia? It's a deer versus hunter game. Where one person plays as the hunter. Everybody else plays as the deer. And then uh, the deer have to like uh, knock over the hunter. And then stay within a circle to gain points against the hunter. And the hunter has to kill the deer and skin them in order to gain a point. It's quite fun. It's also got other game modes where, like, um, there's, like, 20 deer, and the hunter has to figure out which ones are the players. While the players that are the deer, they're trying to, like, blend in with the rest of the deer. It's a really, really fun game. But, yeah, I definitely don't think I could stream it on the main channel with uh, the amount of language in it. Although we'll see. I'll put up a poll. I'll put up a poll on YouTube and see what you guys think. See if you guys think that uh, it should be on the main channel or the second channel. I think I'd probably still do it on the second channel, though. You think they should add more Predator Great Ones first or more deer? I mean, I'm kind of biased on that question because I like deer more. I would much rather have more deer great ones because I just think great ones with antlers are better. Because, like, we still have mule deer. We have sika deer, blacktail deer, rusa deer, sambar deer, roe deer, hog deer. Like, there's so many deer species in the game. Elk, moose, you know. Well, we already have moose, but you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of antlered animals still. Okay, let's get over here now. We just need to... I tail it over here. 
I think there should be an outpost somewhere around here, right? Yeah, this might. Yeah, that's got to be it right there. Let's head over there. Because I want to get to hunting some crocodiles for money. Because I definitely think they're going to be the best source of cash. And I don't have to, like, pick a specific time of day to hunt them. I can kind of just hunt them whenever. Honestly, even Banting might be not too bad. What's my favorite species to hunt? Ooh, man, that's a tough one because that, that changes quite often for me. I'd say right now, my favorite species to hunt is definitely fallow deer. But white-tailed deer are also another one that I would consider to be, like, one of my favorites to hunt in the game. I, yeah, I'd say white tail or fallow. Although Rusa deer are up there too. And if Rusa deer had a great one, they would 100% be my favorite thing to hunt. Oh, I never added the skill point. Let's do that. Uh, pop one into locate tracks. They should add helicopters. That would be very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Ooh, I just remembered. We have tents that we should be placing down as well. Because you start with four tents. So once we get to this outpost, I'm going to take the tents. That way we can plop one down over by the crocodiles. Are you still doing the super air banting grind? Yes, we will be doing it off and on, but my my main account is currently on the early access build, so I can't play on that until the 8th. Um, on stream, at least. I can't play it on stream till the 8th. Uh, so we're playing on my second account right now. They should add jeeps. Yeah, jeeps would be cool. And I mean, they've already got them in the angler, so... Maybe they'd be able to bring them over here to the hunter. Great one, Iberian Mouflon. That is an underrated pick that actually would not be too bad. Mouflon are kind of a, a, I guess, forgotten species of sorts. Like, people don't really talk about Mouflon much. Even though they're pretty nice, they're probably the best sheep species in the game. In terms of, like, how they look. Because I feel like the Bighorn, they're just a little bit too exaggerated in size. Like, the amount of curl those things have is crazy. A little too crazy. Is that red deer? Oh, ma'am. Stay away. I saw a male. Okay. Yeah, there's a few red deer. Nothing crazy, though. Oh, gosh. Ooh, here he comes. Can I get him for a little bit of money? You betcha. Let's go. We got the red deer. That's a little bit of money for uh, time resets right there. Oh, gosh. There we go. 1,200 cash. Love to see it. Can I, can I please get on it? There we go. There we go. Ooh, that was a risky little uh, little drop off to do. Trail cams would be cool for sure. They definitely would be nice. He broke the law. I did. I rolled up, shot the deer, and then rolled off. Bethidi Ibex, great one. I mean, if they're going to do an Ibex, that'd be the one to do, because they already look crazy. What are we doing on Stream Crow? We restarted our second account, and we're just going to have a fun playthrough, leveling up, trying to find as many trophies as we can until uh, early access starts. Or until the embargo lifts for early access. And then we'll go back to the, uh, the main account. But I thought it'd be fun to start over over here and just kind of mess around, have some fun. You think red deer are over-exaggerated? Uh, yes and no. Some of the racks are a little too tall, but they 100% can have that many tines, like... Especially in New Zealand, man. 
The only way that I see the red deer being exaggerated is the height of the antler. Like, some of the racks are just a little bit too tall. Namely, like, the mythicals and legendaries. If I was an animal on the reserve, I'd be more terrified of crows driving versus his shooting. Wow, man. Okay. I, <laughs> I see how it is. And anything nice I ever said about you, uh, Jebba, just forget I said it, you know? <laughs> if you're gonna be mean to me like that, gosh! So rude. That four-wheeler is taking a beating. It really is. I mean, it's not my fault that they didn't give it good handling. They really need to improve the handling on these things. Like, come on. Come on, man. Give them better handling. For real. Do you think they should add drones? Uh, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if that's something that many people would like. Like? I think there would be a lot of people, like the hardcore players in the community, that would be against that. And I just don't see too many uh, scenarios where I'd, I'd use it that much. Except for maybe getting screenshots. Like, that might be the only thing I'd use it for, really. There we go. Now, let's go get ourselves some crocodilies. Some silly crocodilies. Uh, we can actually buy a little bit more ammo as well. I think. Yeah, we definitely can. There. Now we've got ourselves uh, 19 bullets instead of 9. Much better. We're going to head down here. How does killing a female in a zone for a grind affect the grind? Never understood that. Okay, so I think this is... A problem on, like, us content creators not explaining it well enough. Messing up a female, or, like, shooting a female in your zone doesn't always mess it up. It's very dependent on the exact zone and the species. So, for example, like, if I have a zone that is two bucks and two does, let's say I shoot the two doe, or I shoot the two bucks... And then as I'm making a follow-up shot on one of the bucks, I accidentally shoot a doe too. If all three of those die, there's only going to be one doe left, and that's going to make it so the respawns do not come back to that zone. For some reason, when you shoot a zone down to one animal in Call of the Wild, it doesn't get respawns anymore. So that's a scenario where it's bad to shoot a female. Another scenario is sometimes with, like, fallow deer, I've noticed, in particular. Fallow deer seem to do it a lot. If you accidentally kill a female, sometimes they just won't respawn. And then you kill another one. That one doesn't respawn. Then, like, uh, you know, if a couple hundred kills later, you accidentally kill another one. Sometimes, like, after you've killed a few female fallow, they will combine with a couple of the bucks that you've killed and create a brand new zone. And so then you have to go find a brand new zone. So that's, like, the reasons that it can be bad. And that's why, in a lot of cases... We try to avoid shooting the females. Ooh, mythical. Nice. Because there can be some unfortunate uh, unfortunate things that happen when you accidentally kill a doe on a grind. We should be able to get a lot of these crocs to attack us, thankfully. Which will make it easy to get all the money. Under Call of the Wild needs needs helicopters. Uh, maybe helicopter hunts would be cool if they uh, did it correctly. Oh, I forgot I don't have sight spotting. I got to use these. Fleeing. Okay. Where'd that mythical go? There he is. He's fleeing. Was that a hit? I don't know if it was a hit. I I assume maybe. Hey, we got it. Let's go. It was a hit. It was a hit. Oh, it is Emerald Coast indeed. Indeed, hunting gods. It's Emerald. 
I decided to start over on Emerald this time around. 941, let's go. 1500 cash. That's huge. That's a great start to the uh, crocodile hunting. Oh! Oh, bro, bro, bro. Chill, man. Okay, I'm just going to use one bullet. Oh, there was another one. I just saw it go off the shore there. Or at least I saw the water move. Let's hope it's attacking us. If it's attacking us, then we might be able to get it to pop out right here, and then we can shoot it. Let's just grab this, though, real quick. 313, not as much money, but still 1100. I know I'm not going to start up a multiplayer. I might join some multiplayer servers later, though. Once we end up getting some more spots unlocked on this map. But yeah, I, I might do a little bit of multiplayer. We'll see. Don't care for the croc hunting anymore? It's one of those things that I just revisit every once in a while. Like, I don't do it a ton. But uh, every once in a while, I'll pop on, see if I can get a couple of the rares that I'm missing. Hey, Deadpool, how's it going? Do you do, like, uh, callers with smaller... Oh, collabs with smaller YouTubers? I don't really do any collabs unless it's a friend of mine. I, I pretty much just collab with friends of mine now. So, like, people like Lady Legend, Brobra, etc. Yeah, the Crocs give a lot of money, man. They give a lot of money. Any more Crocosillies around here? When's Rooster Part 2? I have no idea, man. I have no idea. Last time when we tried to collab, we forgot we forgot to do it the day that it came. Like the day that we were supposed to collab, the entire day went by and then like the next day we were like, "Wait a second, weren't we supposed to record?" And then ever since then it just uh it's just been postponed. That? Is that a 5? Ah, it's a 4. Looked huge, but that's a 4. Uh, we're still going to shoot that though. Can I get this? Uh, sketchy shot. They give a ton of money, though. Especially those nice big ones, dude. Those big Rusa give good money. Oh my gosh, there's so many. So many Ruse. The mythical. What's the uh, money like on kangaroos? I haven't actually paid attention to that before. I feel like they would give decent money, right? Did we get it? We got it. Let's go. That's going to be like 12, 1300. What's up, Quate? You think 900 to 1,000? Okay, good to know. Good to know. PTK, what's up, man? For me, Bantang, we're where the money's at. I have thought of maybe hunting a little bit of Bantang. Just to see if it's good. I think my primary money source is going to be either Rusa or Croc, so... Because I would argue that Rusa is probably the best, like, money to difficulty ratio you can get. Like, I messed that up and still got almost 1,400 cash. That's just crazy. Rusa gives so much freaking money. There's another one right there. Uh, let's put in that perk point, though. Sprint and load. Okay, this is what we need. We need muscle memory so that we don't have to exit the scope to 
chamber another round. There's a Rue. Did we get it? First shot was a definite miss. Second one, though, was a maybe. What do you guys think? Did the second shot hit or did we miss? I'd like them, uh, Shay. I I'd like that. Squirrels would be really good. I'm not really too interested in any more dogs, so. I don't know. The last uh, dog they added in just didn't uh, excite me that much, so I'm not, just not really interested in seeing more dogs add to the game yet. Unless it can help me track animals that I haven't shot yet. Like, if they add something that will allow me to track an animal without having to have shot it first, then, 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 then we're talking, right? Then I'd be really excited. Because that would be actually super, super useful. Yeah, I definitely agree. Bloodhound is the best dog at the moment. Um, the Retriever's very situational. The Bloodhound, like, it's useful all the time that I've got it with me. Ooh, that's what we need. We need to get ourselves a dog. We have no dog at the moment. <laughs> I mean, I could shoot that for some free money. But it's moving so much, I feel like I'd miss a few shots and just waste my ammo. And I, I don't have that much ammo at the moment, so... This kangaroo did not die quick at all. I hope I can even find it. I mean, if I don't, we're at least going in the right direction. That's the outpost there, I think. Oh, there it is. Perfect. I need to go up there anyway. 352. Let's go. Hey, Dilly, what's up, man? Found 29 fallow drink zones, a couple on the low side. Do you think those are all of them? 29 seems a bit low. I, I'd i say try to find at least five or six more. The only way that you'd have 29 is if so many of your solos were all bunched up into one zone. Like, if, you, if a bunch of your solos are sharing zones, then maybe it could be that low? I don't know. Want to see another air rifle in the game? That would be cool. Like a, a larger air rifle, maybe. Because there is larger caliber air rifles than what we currently have. Which would be pretty cool, being able to take some of the larger animals with it. Oh. Go down, go down. Yeah, I don't know if she's going to go down quickly. Is the 7mm Magnum a good rifle? Yes, it's a very good rifle. Especially the DLC bolt-action version of it. Both are quite strong, though. I have 54 Whitetail Drink Zones on my latent map. Is that enough? Uh, that should be the majority of them. You're probably missing like three or four, but that should be the majority. Oh, this isn't even... Wait, where's the outpost? Is it over here? Oh my gosh, it must be over there. It's probably over there, man. Let's just put this here then. We'll plop that down there, I guess. Since we already made the journey up here, might as well. Oh, we can get our dog. We can get the dog now. Uh, yes, they are coming out with a brand new weapon pack. They are indeed. Hmm, what do we name it? Nah. Oh, I, I got it. If you know, you know. 
Ah, are you kidding? I can't. There, there, there we go. How's it going, little buddy? Why'd you bark? Is there something attacking us that, that I should know about? Let's see if he can find this rooster deer. Yo, what's up, Tony? How's it going? How you doing, Tony? Indeed, the Scab King is here. Tony the Scab King has arrived. Alright, let's get over to this other marker. Oh yeah, the Bloodhounds are great. Yeah, maybe, Dilly. Maybe. It definitely could be. I'd still like to periodically just check all your areas again and see if you have some you missed. Isaac, thank you so much for the super chat, man. Much appreciated, my dude. Much appreciated. Imagine an M82 50 cal sniper. That'd be crazy. I swear I hear something else, man. I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> I was like, wait, the dog barked. <laughs> sure enough, we were getting chased by a kangaroo for the last, like, minute. <gasps> you were just trying to help me out, buddy. Thank you. That's amazing. <laughs> that is hilarious, man. I was like, I swear that this is, that, that, that I hear something. And sure enough, we were getting chased by a kangaroo that whole time. Our little buddy helped us out. We're getting a good amount of money now, too. We're at 6,800. He was creeping up, man. He was really creeping up. What's my thoughts on the ambusher pack? Uh, it's one of my least favorite DLCs, I think. Like, I don't use the electronic collars super often. And the only time I use the, uh, the weapons is if I'm taking down, like, a great one or, like, a, a special diamond or something. Oh, 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 that's a five. That's a five. That's a five. Holy crap, that's a five. That's a five, that's a five, that's a five. They're already spooked, so let's pop this down and get poly tips for the 243. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh, dude. Also, let's... A little bit of 308, and then we'll get the 308. Holy, 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 holy. That's insanity. Gosh, what am I doing? There we go. Boom, boom. Get rid of the soft points. There we go. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. That is a level five axis deer. If it makes diamond, that'll be our first diamond of this playthrough. Holy crap. Uh, no, Duck, this is my secondary. More ruse? Okay, so it doesn't matter if I get his exact track. I just need to follow the uh, axis deer tracks so I know what direction they went. Freaking kangaroos. Okay, they went this way. That's insane. Going to S225, I think that's an axis deer range. Never hunt them. Yeah, I believe they can get like high 220s, 
even high 230s, I think. That's a nice looking seven red deer. What direction do they go? Okay, so this is their tracks right here. Um, Isaac, thank you so much for the super chat once again. Do you know if you can still get the 338 championship? Yes, you can. Uh, you can still get it. You have to complete the mission on Parque Fernando. I forgot which exact like mission set it is, but yeah, it's a it's a Parque Parque Fernando mission set. <gasps> That's him. That's him. That's him right there. That's our boy. He's downwind of us. That's not good. Oh no, he's downwind. That could be bad, but it could also get him to face us. Which wouldn't be the worst thing. I just got to remember that we need to shoot it with the 243. And not shoot it with the uh, the 308. Because I made that mistake before with Axis Deer. There's been a couple times in the past where I've shot them with the wrong gun. All right, let's move. See if we can get him to go alert. Yep, there we go. He's alert. Wait. Oh, I pulled the wrong gun out. Okay, he's that one right there. We got him. Let's go. We got him. Oh my gosh, dude. When you have like no perks or skills, so you can't like hold your breath for very long and all you have is the starter scope and you're at a decently long distance, that is a tough shot to make. Oh my gosh. I ooh. I thought I I really thought I was going to mess that up. Let's go, guys. Let's go. All right, let's see. What is he? 225 diamond. Let's go. I can't even tax it yet because I don't have enough money. <laughs> I don't have enough money, man. Uh, 69.99, by the way. Fantastic. We're going to have to save the harvest because I can't tax it. Also, this is the Epic game, so I can't screenshot it. No. Can I like... Maybe maybe I can screenshot it this way. Print screen. There we go. Okay. I got a screenshot one way or another. That's cool, though. That's really cool. Let's save the harvest. Actually, I should probably get a... Screenshot of the harvest screen, too. Can I get it to work? What I'm trying to do is get it to not minimize the screen, but bring up my taskbar so I can click it and do the print screen there. Because the thing is with light shot, for some reason, it doesn't save full screen screenshots for me. So I have to get it to like let me click out of it without taking the uh, without minimizing Call of the Wild. Let's save the harvest. There we go. Yeah, I'm only on YouTube at the moment, Wilson, because I didn't feel like reading multiple chats today. There we go. Let's freaking go. All right. Well, where were we? I think we were trying to unlock more of the map. Yeah, that thing was giant. I'm surprised it didn't score higher, though, because it was really close to max weight. Or no, isn't max weight 75? I might be wrong. I thought max weight was 75. Am I wrong there? 
Indeed, Caitlin, that's the first one. Max weight 75. Okay, I thought so. I was going to say, that's too low of a score for that to be max weight. Yeah, I thought it wasn't uh, 70. Yeah, Liam, we did. That's our first diamond of the playthrough. We've unlocked a decent bit of the map. We started over here. We unlocked all this, and now we're up here. Wow, the stream has already been going for one hour. Time flies when you're having fun, man. Time flies. Yeah, Hunter, you guessed it right on the dot, man. Let's go, Blue. How you doing, though, Caitlin? Hope you're doing good. I was asking the chat uh, if they wanted to see a, uh, a stream for Hophobia, and uh, there was a lot of people that said yes. A lot of people tell me to do it on the main channel, too, and I'm like, eh, I don't know if I want to do it on the main channel. I did do a great one grind for Whitetail without HM. Uh, the exact same way that you would do it with HM. The only difference is you bypass all the shooting zones down. You just pick your favorite zones and start shooting. This like a... Uh, the whole idea of like you have to hunt every single zone if you're not like uh, HMing because that's the way it's intended is it's it's completely like... It's just not true, right? You can just pick a few zones set up super efficiently and grind them without it like being herd management in fact that's what i would recommend doing i don't recommend hunting every single zone on your map if you're not herd managing like if you don't have to then don't hunt them all pick the best of the best and then grind those what i would usually do uh, let's say for whitetail what I would do for Whitetail is I would pick eight zones that you really like. You can do more as well. Like if you can get, if you have two zones that are across from each other, uh, dedicate like one tent to each of them, right? Like put a tent on each and that way you can like hunt one, fast travel over, hunt the one across, fast travel back over. I missed, and I used the wrong gun. I think the first rare will be a piebald. Uh, very possible since a lot of species, since for a lot of species, the piebald's more common. I can see that. Welcome, Code. I hope you're doing good. What map should I do my moose grind on? Because I don't have Medved, or I don't like Medved, and I have Whitetail on Rev. Oh, for moose, definitely uh, Leighton. Leighton is by far the best moose map if you're herd managing. Um, if you're not herd managing... To be honest, it's probably still the best because uh, Yukon's not super insane for moose grinding. Just because they can be in too many different places, in my personal opinion. So I, I would probably pick Leighton. Can you hunt some red deer? We're just hunting whatever comes along. I'm primarily focusing crocodiles, uh, but we'll shoot other stuff as we hunt the crocodiles too. Goodbye, Mr. Banting. What's up, Brandon? How's it going? Aggressive? Of course they're aggressive. Of course. For being aggressive, you're taking your sweet time, man. Yeah, crocs are great for money. Does what affect great one spawn rate? Oh, I'm assuming you meant HM, not he. We don't know for sure. I think it probably does a little bit, at least if you go to the extreme with HM. But that's one thing that nobody's ever been able to come to a full agreement on. I'm going to avoid that female because I want to shoot these two males. Gosh, this is going to be annoying. We're losing our breath so easily. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Run out of here. Brother. Or ma'am, I guess. 
Maybe she'll die? I don't think so. My gosh. What what is what is up with some people in chat today? Some people don't know when to stop pressing the moderators. <laughs> For anybody else that is uh, thinking about back talking the moderators, it's not going to end well anytime you do it. They're here for a reason. They're here to enforce the rules that I have set on the channel. If you're back talking them, it's what makes you think that that's going to be a good thing. So please chill. Just enjoy the stream. Have fun. That's what we're here to do. We're here to have fun. Arguing with people in chat is not going to help us reach that goal of having fun. What's my specs? Uh, one of the moderators or members could put the PC command in chat if you'd like. Happy vibes for the win at least. Or uh, exactly is what I mean can't freaking speak did I not kill him I might have missed the first shot actually I may have missed the first shot is that a dead gator it is it died where is it going to float to though Well, I guess we'll find out if that guy dies. I'm assuming you're asking if I like chess. I played chess as a kid, but didn't really play it any as an adult. I don't really know if I'd like it nowadays. I haven't played it in a long time. I had fun playing with my dad when I was a kid, but that is the last I remember of uh, playing chess. Oh, gosh, dude. We're losing breath so quick. Low-level account struggles. <laughs> That's the toughest part about being a brand new player is not having the perks and skills to be able to quickly recover our breath and stuff like that. Uh, let's go ahead and put one into Frack Knowledge. I don't think we got vitals on this one. Yeah, that's going to be a no. That is going to be a no. We should probably pop a tent. Oh, no. Oh, we do have a tent. Never mind. We do. Okay, we do. We're good. I know, Code. I don't. Ah, uh, yes, I did restart the Great One before level sixty account because I—I'll be honest. Like after I started going for a second Great One Fallow before hitting level sixty, I just kind of lost interest in it. I wanted to do something different, and so we're just doing like a casual restart this time. We're just doing a normal restart, just playing all the way through, kind of just hunting whatever we feel on it. Because I thought it'd be a fun thing to do until the new update drops. Uh, if we see a Bantang, we'll shoot it along the way for sure. How do I find drink zones for Whitetail in short time on Revon Tuli? I'll be honest with you, Gustav. There is no short time way to find your zones the only way to truly find all your zones is to change it to whitetail time and get out there and look search all the water that they can be at and you'll likely have to go back to all the bodies of water multiple times because not all the zones are going to like not all of the the whitetail are going to be at their zones on time so it's likely that you'll miss a lot of them the first couple times Oh, 
Oh, definitely, Kaylee. Definitely. What do people need to do to become a mod? Just wondering. Uh, I usually just make friends of mine moderators. That's pretty much it. Because, like, I have to be able to trust them, right? I have to be able to trust them that they're not going to just go, like, power hungry, right? So I, I, I tend to just moderate uh, friends of mine or sometimes people that moderate for uh, other content creators that I'm friends with. That's really it, though. Oh, definitely, Kaylee. Six and a five and a five and a six. We got more crocodiles over here. Yeah. Oh, definitely, Archie. Definitely. How you doing, Archie? Hope you're doing good. Jeez, Ender. Crazy, dude. Well, good luck with that. Hopefully you get it. You gonna die level six? I think that was a good hit, right? Maybe not. Maybe I had a bad hit there. Ty, thank you for the super chat, man. Just started playing, and what is the best map? Best map is going to be a personal preference type of deal. Like, everybody's got a different opinion of what the best map is. My personal favorite, though, is this one right here. Emerald Coast. This map is amazing. I absolutely adore it. It's just a real fun time. What you growling at, buddy? Oh, nice, Makai, nice. It took me 470 Black Bear kills to get a diamond, and I'm doing herd management. Uh, it, it, the first diamond is always going to be the one that takes the longest in any grind, regardless of whether you're doing HM or not. That's <laughs> <De> definitely shit. <laughs> uh, definitely shit. No official call of the wild, I don't. I love Tiawaroa. Tiawaroa is a great map. It's a top three map for me easily. I'm convinced the only people that hate Tiawaroa are the people that don't like love deer species. If you love deer species, Tiawaroa is a gold mine. You got the Sika, you got the Fallow, you got the Red Deer. Like, it's just a great map for deer hunters. You got, like, the feral ghost and the chamois. Like, it's amazing. You know, if that's your thing, at least. Yo, what's up, Dis Daddy? How's it going, man? How's it going? Oh, yes, Australia is the best for deer, but that doesn't take away that Tiawaro is good for deer. Ah, uh, yes, Koda, we've got one diamond so far. We got a diamond axis here. Took me a while for my first diamond in my grind, but then I started to improve my game and then got like 20 in a few days. Yeah, like especially with herd management, it's one of those things where the longer you do it, the more diamonds you'll get. And uh, a lot of people don't do it properly either. Not necessarily saying that that's the case for everybody, but uh, I see a lot of situations where people are like, I've killed a thousand animals using herd management and, I, and I've only seen one diamond. What am I doing wrong? And nine times out of ten, it's because they didn't find all their zones. And so they were only herd managing like 20 zones instead of like the full 60 plus that you would need for whitetail, right? 
Because with hard management, you got to focus the whole map. You can't just manage down 20 zones and expect to get crazy results. Sawyer, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. What is the best coyote map? I would say Rancho, probably. Thing is, none of the coyote maps are super good, super good for them. Like, they're all pretty mediocre. I would say it's definitely Rancho, though, if I had to pick one. Ah, hit the ground. Hit the ground there. Oh, you're right. I didn't update the diamond counter. We should probably do that. There we go. Should be updated now. I might have to go to the uh, the 308 AR now. Ooh, mythical. Okay. That's nice. Appreciate it, uh, Zero FW. Jabba, thank you for the super chat as well, man. For all the good dad jokes. Thank you. I got plenty of them. Lots, lots of dad jokes here. Lots of, lots of dad jokes there. We got dad jokes for days. They're practically never ending. Which, depending on who you are, that's either a good or a bad thing. Come on, Mr. Mythical. I need him to turn sideways. Or maybe attack me? That could be good. Hey, we got him. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Uh, no, Jagsick, we haven't. There has not been any more news on the new map. What's my least favorite great one and why? Red Deer, because there's only one fur variation and there's only four racks and most of the racks look very similar, so there's just not much variety with them. Pretty much once you've killed, like, two Red Deer great ones, you've pretty much seen all Red Deer great ones have to offer. <laughs> So that is why they are my least favorite. There's just not any variety there. The little variety they do have is too similar. Whereas even bears have six different fur types, right? Yeah, I just wish they had more variety for the red deer. I killed a 272 whitetail, is that big? Uh, yes, that's a pretty big one. Oh, gosh, did I kill either of them? I don't know. I don't know if I killed either of them. I'm going to say it's a big maybe. Oh, that's a big no, actually. Yeah, there's no way I killed him. Although, I used a 308. They could just be slowly bleeding out. Hey, I was right. Slowly bleeding out. Where is it? Holy crap, it was clear over here. That thing went a long ways before it died. Yeah, no problem, Devin. It's a really fun game, man. It's a really good game. Well, both of them died. Let's go. Let's freaking go. And this guy's just slowly creeping up to us like a weirdo. Hey, man. Stop being a creep. Get out of here. <laughs> Maybe, Wilson. Definitely a chance. Oh, I'm doing good, Coda. I'm doing great. I hope you've had a good day as well. What's better, 338 or 7mm? Uh, for 7 to 9 class animals, 338. 
for class like four to six, the seven mil would be better. Can I get to it? There we go. 1,200 cash. Yeah, I think Rusidi are going to be better cash, honestly. Like, these Crocs are pretty good for money. Don't get me wrong. But, uh... I think Rusidir give more on average. Ooh, that's big. That's big, and I don't have any ammo for the 338. And my tent's clear back here. Oh, no. Well, we're going to have to get to this outpost. We're going to have to walk all the way up to that outpost and get more ammo. I really should have bought more ammo before we came over here, man. What's my favorite great one? Definitely the moose. Definitely the moose. They add more fur types to the great one whitetail. I would love it if they would. Um, I doubt it's going to happen anytime soon, but I hope they do eventually. Oh. Hey! Whoa, man! You see that? He, he did a little redirection move there and went straight for me. So mean. Is that a male? It was a male. Oh, no worries, Jebba. Thank you for dropping in, man. Have a good dinner, my dude. Are red deer still my favorite animal? Uh, they're my favorite animal, like, in real life. In the game, they're definitely not the one that I like hunting the most. I still like red deer. Just, uh, there's a lot of other stuff that I like hunting more right now. Okay, breath control is what we need right here. We need breath control so, so bad. We need as many tiers of that as we can possibly get. Yeah, if you guys haven't already, hit the like. Massive help to the stream takes two seconds. What's up, fish man? What's up, man? Yeah, we're getting on a real schedule now, fish man. We're getting on a real schedule. I'm going to try and start my streams at 3 p.m. always. Aside from, obviously, new update stuff. Like, if early, whenever we get early access um, streams going, those will probably end up being earlier. Three shots. Is he down? We're going to have to come back for this band tank because it looks big, but I don't want to shoot it with the wrong rifle because I don't have any more ammo for my 338. I know there is no female great ones in the game. Oh, for sure, Blue. They're just so stunning. They're really cool. See, I don't think this is a diamond, but I think it's close. And I don't want to risk it in case I'm wrong. Just found two diamond ruse in the same zone. Let's go, dude. And getting two level nines in the same zone is tough, let alone two diamond ruse, because they troll a lot. You liked it three days ago? That's right. We've had this, uh, this live stream up for a while. Because originally this was supposed to be a stream from two days ago. And then I had to postpone the scheduled stream to today because they dropped the early access on us. Come on. 881. Another 1100 cash. <laughs> this freaking band tag's just being weird. It's moving all around. Do you see a Mocha Grey Wolf? Uh, they are not a thing, but I would not mind it if they added them. I don't believe Mocha Grey Wolf's a thing. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but... Oh, gotcha, fish man. Gotcha, brother. Broke my wrist right before hockey playoffs and I'm devastated. Ouch, Puffer. That sucks, bro. That sucks, man. Hopefully it'll heal up quickly. Because that's definitely not fun. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I 
<laughs> we'll we'll get to the outpost eventually. We keep having to stop for freaking gators. Or not gators, crocodiles. Silly crocodilies. I've got like no ammo left, man. I got like no ammo. 8308. And 9243 is what we can shoot now. There, he finally died. Took him ages. Uh, Mocha Moose is only for the Tiawaroa mission. Yeah, the Crocs really have it out for me today, for sure. They they want me dead. How how rude of them. What's my favorite animal that doesn't have a great one? Oh, Rusa deer, for sure. Definitely Rusa. What are some tips for herd management? Oh gosh, there's su there's such a laundry list of tips. I would recommend that if you're just wanting general tips for herd management, it's probably better to check out one of the guides that I've got on the channel because those like those have tips that are very like specific to each spe each species that I'm talking about and the map that I'm hunting them on. Cuz that's the thing about herd management, I'm going to have different tips for everything. Because you have to do it a little bit differently for every species. And for like every map that you're on. So I would definitely recommend checking out the guides for just general HM tips. Haha. <laughs> That is sure eating crow after that encounter. Wait. That is sure eating croc after that encounter. Wait, I, I, I'm not sure what pun you were going for there, Chip. I didn't get that one. I'm sorry. Oh, did you mean that croc is sure eating crow after that encounter? Maybe that's what you meant. Maybe that's what you meant. Uh, yes, Michaela, I think they are. I think they actually are visually bigger than the alligators. I believe that's true. Floating along. Yes, that's it? Okay. I, I thought so after I thought about it for a little bit. Yeah, probably mini gator. That's kind of what I was thinking too, but... Just to be safe, I want to shoot it with the right gun. Uh, yes, XYZ, we got a diamond um, axis deer. Which is pretty sick. Haven't had one of those in a long time. We're making bank 21,000 already. Or just under 21k. Later, Hunter. No, I never put my Mellow Diamond Moose on a multi-mount. It's on the wall with my other, like, big rare moose. And that's primarily because I want to save the body platforms for my great ones. What's happened so far? Uh, we've been attacked by a lot of crocodiles. Uh, we ran into one of the weirdest glitches ever where my entire hunter's body was invisible except my arms. And uh, he was holding all of the guns improperly. And then we also got a diamond axis deer. So it's been a it's been an action-packed day, to say the least. There's a lot of craziness going on. A lot of weirdness, too. Man, maybe I should just put this guy out of his misery. Incorrect gun or not. He's uh, he's having some troubles up here. Because you're probably right. It doesn't necessarily look like it's a diamond. So if I can get my, my weapon sway and breathing to calm down, maybe we'll take him. 
He might not give us a shot now that I've said that, though. <laughs> yeah, I think he's gone. Oh, well. Did that croc ever die? Not yet. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Speak of the devil, there we go. He's dead. Went back for more zones on the fallow grind. Now have 32 zones. How many should I shoot down and how many do I stack? So you want to shoot down 70% of your males. So however many zones you need to shoot down to be able to get it to like 70%, then that would be it. After I got everything managed down, I had maybe like 12 or 13 shootable males in my main zones. Plus, there was about 10 fallow that I didn't fully manage down. I only managed them down to like mid-sized threes because they were solos and I, it was just getting really annoying to try and manage them down. And then everything else for me was a two or a really tiny three the same size as a two. I would like to see a great one bison. Me too. Especially Euro bison. I think European bison would be a great, great one. Oh, I have no clue, Archie. I haven't played any Fortnite in a little while. Are you talking about in the single player one or in the Battle Royale? Uh, yes, once you buy the DLC, the weapons will be free in game. As goes for like all of the DLC weapons. Aside from ones that come with a map. Oh, got you, Archie. Well, I didn't even know that that was in the game, so I'm assuming it's new. Thank you, Kathy. I'm glad that you like it. Oh, you missed a little bit, Triss. We uh, got a diamond axe to steer. We uh, ran into some really weird bugs, and then we've been attacked by a ton of crocodiles. Speak of the devil, there they are. More crocodiles. Hey, little buddies. Hello there, little guys. Fleeing? You're not going to attack me? Come on. Oh, gosh. Ooh, that was a hit. Two bullets remain. Oh, no. It's a good thing we're next to the outpost. Just 900 meters that way and we're good. There he is. Oh, nice, Kathy. That's awesome still. Like, anytime you have a great one, that's great. Should I stack my diamond and rare crocs or kill them? Uh, that's up to you, Fishy Tacos. If you'd like to stack them, then feel free to. Stacking is one of those things where it's never required. It's more of like if you'd like to do it. You know, running out of ammo in Call of the Wild is actually impressive. Can't remember the last time that happened to me. I know, right? Tis the struggles of a new account. Boom. We got good money now, though. We got 23,000. So we can go up and buy some ammo. Oh, gotcha, Kathy. Hey, gotta do what you gotta do in life, right? Life stuff comes first. Easiest and most efficient way to get cash. Um... Most efficient is probably getting a good black bear setup. But that is definitely not the easiest because it takes a long time to get a good setup going for black bears. But once you get it to a good point, it's crazy how much money you can make. I was making anywhere from like 100 to 200,000 per stream off of bears. And that's with just doing like a two to four hour stream.
When I get the shooting lakes down to small threes and twos, what from there? Well, at that point, you just start rotating on your main zones. Like, after you've managed down... Um... Wait. No, no, no. You don't want to get your... You don't want to get your main zones down to twos and threes, if that's what you're saying. You don't want your main zones to be those low levels. You want all of the other zones to be the low levels. So, for example... Let's say I have... For Fallow Deer, I have 37. I have 37 zones. The process that I went through to manage everything down was anytime a diamond would spawn in one of my favorite zones, I would stack that diamond to hold a position in that zone so that a low level couldn't show up there. And also to help push down the average scores of the respawns. And so I just keep doing that, like as I'm stacking diamonds in my main zones i'm also hunting my exterior zones trying to get twos and threes and you literally just keep doing that until all your main zones or until all the exterior zones are shot down to twos and threes twos and small threes i should specify and then once you've got all the exterior zones shot down um what i did was i killed off all the stacked fives and then i just started rotating on all my main zones just repeatedly hunting all the shootable males in the main zones. Trying to do a black bear is my first great one because they're actually not that bad as people say. Uh, they're definitely something that people have learned a lot more about recently, like in the last few months. Don't play it down, Aiden. You definitely got timed out for something. They wouldn't have timed you out if you did nothing. If you got timed out, it was for something. Probably because you kept arguing. You kept arguing with them that you didn't do anything. Even though they stated why you got timed out. They stated why you got timed out. And then you kept arguing that you didn't do that. Or that it was something you shouldn't have got timed out for. Or whatever it was you were arguing. I didn't get to see the whole thing. I just saw pieces of it. But they don't do it for nothing. If you got timed out, it's because you were breaking the rules. Repeatedly. Is there an animal that I don't have a diamond of? Yes, collared peccary is one of them. And then I've got a few others. Like a few of the birds. Where can you see the rules? Uh, one of the moderators or members can bring up the rules command. Oh. Boom. Outpost unlocked. Okay. So now if we wanted to, we could move up here and start hunting some Rusadir. Because that area is so good for Rusadir. And I don't think I've ever attacked that area from this direction. All that money going into ammo. Gotta do what you gotta do, though. Beautiful. Uh, we need to go ahead... No, no, Fishy Taco. That's, that's not what that means. The rule that says English only in chat is because... I only speak English, so I can't moderate messages that are in other languages. Like, somebody could come in and say something super racist, but do it in a different language, and I would not even know because I only speak English. And, like, 95% of my moderators only speak English. I think Archie might be the only one that speaks a different language. 
Because I believe Archie knows... Um, gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Actually, maybe Hollow Crow knows another language too. But point is, like... If we don't know what is being said in the message, we can't, like, know if it's something bad or not. That's why there's the English-only rule. It's actually a pretty common rule among most streamers. What diamond do I want the most out of all of them? Out of all the ones I don't have, what do I want the most? Let's see... Maybe stubble quail, actually. No, no, not no, probably not stubble quail. Actually, it's either stubble quail or the collared peccary. Those are probably the two that I want the most. Or no, must deer. Must deer is the one. I have wanted a must deer diamond for so long and they've always avoided me. Like, I just have not been able to seal the deal on them. And I don't know why. I've just had awful luck with them. How much longer am I planning on streaming? At least another 30 minutes. Oh, crap. Hey, bro. I mean, ma'am. Hello, bro, ma'am. <laughs> Get smoked! Um, I doubt Collared Peccary will ever be a great one, and if they do become a great one, it's probably going to be a long time from now because they're not a super highly requested one. I, I don't ever hear anybody talking about Collared Peccary for a great one. And they typically go off of what people are requesting, right? Like, if it's a super highly requested great one animal, it's much more likely to become a great one than if nobody's talking about it. The only exception was the black bear. The black bear was the only time where they kind of just threw a great one in and nobody expected it. I don't understand it either, Caitlin. I think I have one or two rares for them, but no diamonds. I don't get it either. I just have not had the peccary luck. And I even hunted in multiplayer for them quite a bit during Rancho's release. But yeah, I've just never got one. I have no clue why. I just don't got the peccary luck. Let's put this down here. We're about to run through this area and see if we can pick up some good Rusa deer. Ooh, I should reset the time, though, to their feeding time. I believe 4 to 8 is the time I need, so we'll go to 5.30. Actually, 6. 6 is probably better, because it'll be much lighter than... I didn't see what it was, Archie, but mild curse words are fine in the chat. For real, for real, Jenna. For real, for real. No cap at all. For real, for real there. Rodier. <laughs> I've hunted my Medved map and found so many trophies. Nice, Terrell, nice. Yeah, I've had some decent trophies off of Medved. I have had some pretty good Medved trophies, but just never been able to get that diamond musk deer. I've got a couple of rare musk deer, but no diamond. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello? Rusa deer going down. Let's go. Oh, true, Caitlin. True. The thousands of road deer you haven't killed. Indeed. I do want to go back to hunting road deer at some point. Because um, I still don't have a melanistic. That's something I've always wanted and I don't have. Jeez, Aiden, that's crazy. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, guys, for Rusa deer. Look at this. This is a very small level four. It's only a silver. And I got 1,366 cash. Like, oh my gosh. So much money for how plentiful these fours are. Rusa deer have some of the like highest numbers of level fours I've ever seen. 
And like the smaller fours give almost 1400 cash. They're super good for money. And if I set up on their drink zones, I can probably make so much money so fast. Because they're in very limited areas. Rusadir are really only like in this little river section. Um, where else? Like I think this area. And then like down here, that's it. They're only in like three little segments of the map. What the? Why are you up here? That makes no sense. Why are you so far up here? Excuse me? What? Does it have a zone up here? No. What was it doing up here? That's wild. I've never seen a croc up here. Did I, I must have spooked him up here or something. Or maybe he was a respawn from one of the ones we killed and he was walking down. I don't even know. That was weird. It goes all the way up here. Holy crap, this croc was all the way up here? That's insane. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I can't think of, I can't think of a time where I've seen one that far away from water. He was trying to eat the Rusadir. He for sure was. That that was his plan the, this entire time was to eat the Rusadir. Ooh. Foxy. Ah, no. Uh, the struggles of being low level. Ran out of breath right as I shot. Or my character's heart went crazy or something like that. Hit. Is it a vital hit, though? Oh no, Archie feels bad, man. Oh, I should have known, Chip. You were the crocodile. Yeah, yeah, I should have known that. Probably chasing me just like the kangaroo did? Probably. That That's definitely a possibility. Ooh. Ooh. Level four. Or, that's a three. Level three hog, dear. Turn. Nice, two hits. Have I ever had a level four moose that made diamond? Yes, I've had a quite a few level four diamond moose. They actually make it quite often. All right, blood should be right here. There it is. Ooh, it was non-vital organs. Man. Well, rip to that poor dude. I think we only killed one of the hog deer. That's another Rusa. I'm curious how far he's going to go before stopping to eat. Welcome back, Karen. How's it going? You remember when I said I got my first and second great one fallow? Is when you were still grinding bear? Uh, maybe. I mean, there's a lot of people that have said they got their first great one. It's hard to remember everything. Yerusa population's tiny. To be fair... We're going from the opposite direction that I normally go. And we're on a brand new account, so who knows where the majority of my zones are. They could be in the other sections of the map that have Rusa.
Come on, pupper. Find me the blood. Find me the blood. Got this, buddy. Take your time. Take your time, little man. You got this. Yep, just walk over. Slowly walk over. There we go. We found it. Oh, you meant the antlers are tiny. Yeah, we have seen a lot of tiny forests so far. Curious where the big males are. Because usually by now we'd see at least a couple of the fours that have the same rack as the troll fives. There's the little hog deer. Oh, this was the first one. Did we kill both of them? Wow, the second shot was the bad one and the first was the good one? That That's insane. The second shot looked way better than the first one. Another skill point. We're now level six. Mm, what do we do? Do we go for spotting knowledge now? Uh, we might as well just focus on all of track knowledge first and then get to spotting knowledge. One thing at a time, I guess. Oh, 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 oh. Got him. Armella and albino possible on great one. Yes, only for whitetail though. And people don't even like fully know if it's actually possible or if the albino great one whitetail that was found was a bug. Like, nobody's ever really been able to find a concrete answer for that because there's only been one albino great one whitetail found and zero mela. And so it makes a lot of people wonder if maybe that albino was like a one-off weird bug that's been patched since. Like, it's hard to say. Because, like, the majority of ultra rares we see are the uh, fabled piebald whitetail. Look at that. 1,500 cash for a silver, man. They're so good. So, so good for money. Like I've been saying, they're insane. Ooh, sandbar. Love me some sandbar deer. Baseball guy, thank you for the seven months, man. Welcome back. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing great, my dude. Okay, so we did kill that one. Oh, wow, we dropped him. Did I spine him? I might have spined him. Yo, what's up, nice man? Best gun for the whitetail grind? My personal favorite, the 308 AR. But if you don't care about getting full score on all of the non-diamond ones, then I would recommend the 300 Magnum. Ah, oh, the light brown is beautiful. I'd love to get a light brown diamond. They're so pretty. They are so, so pretty. Pretty much, FW. I mean, if anybody's going to get an ultra rare in the content creator realm, it's definitely got to be I buy. Because he, he hunts more great ones than anybody. Okay, we're in the wide open field now. Maybe we'll be able to see a few more. This is usually a pretty solid Rusa area. Oh, for sure, Michaela, for sure. I enjoy it from time to time as well. Oh, is it going to turn? Did we get it? 
I don't know if I got it. I might have got it. It was kind of a sketchy shot, but I think I might have got it. Level one croc? Didn't get it. Wow. Unfortunate. Did not get it, guys. Ah, uh, you missed a diamond axis, dear Isaac. Ronnie, thank you for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. Thank you so much for that, man. Hope you're doing great. Um, I believe so, Wilson. Seems like more bucks are spawning in when trying to count the males. What's going on? Uh, sometimes they just don't get to their zone on time. For some of them, it just takes them a little bit to get there. Ooh, there we go. There we go. That's a big boy. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. That stupid, stupid bush screwed us over. Trying to get the biggest one we've seen all day. Now the stupid breath system screwed us over. Uh, what can you do? Besides watch the spinning clouds. Man, oh man. Typical. Typical. Low level account struggles though. It is what it is. We struggle through, and we continue hunting. Maybe I can get another chance over here. Maybe I can get another chance, man. Rip. Just not my day. Alright, well, let's plop this tent down. Because I actually need to go eat dinner. So we're going to go ahead and end the stream here. I appreciate you all. This is a fun little start to our new playthrough. And we honestly did pretty good. We got a... Uh, ooh, I need to tax that Axis Deer. Let's go to Saved Harvest. If you guys didn't know... Whenever you reset the account, it saves all of your uh, your harvests from your previous playthroughs, and it saves all your lodges. So this is the one that we got on this playthrough. These are all from our Great One Before Level 60 Season 2 and Beginner Series. So we're just going to tax our Axis Deer and then go put it in the lodge. Let's make a lodge. Well, we don't need to make a lodge because we got one from our series. From our uh, Great One Before Level 60 Challenge Series and the Beginner Series. Will I stream after? No, not tonight. Not tonight. I'll do another stream. What day is it? Tuesday will be the next stream. Where do we want to put this axis deer? It might actually look pretty good in here. I think they can go up here. Yeah. There we go. There's our Axis Deer. Love to see it, man. Love to see it. I do love that you don't lose things when you reset the account. Because we've been able to keep all of our great ones that we got on the Great One Before Level 60 series. And we just get to continue to add to this lodge throughout all these different series that we start. Pretty sick, man. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for dropping in. Yeah, I'm going to already hit that like button. And uh, sub to the channel if you're new and you're enjoying the content. We'll be back in two days for another live stream. And there will be a video tonight as well as, of course, a video tomorrow and all the days after. Thank you guys so much. Peace, peace, peace.